Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we're back with another episode of the Pleasant View Stories. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die any minute, go for a ride down Hey guys, today we're back with Dawn, and Dawn has recently moved into a new house. You might be surprised because there was still some work to be done in the house. I think we could have definitely turned it into something a bit more special than it was but there was a bug with the babysitter one time don went to work and i hired a babysitter and then he came back and there were two babysitters and then he fired both of them and they wouldn't leave and then i uh, went back into the lot a few times but every time the babysitters would still be there the nannies so i decided that their only option was to leave this place bunch of why is what is mary sue doing here i guess this is our welcome party mary's here and felix oh, what i actually think he and felix could have a bit of a bromance so i might just greet him just so we know him and then maybe later we can see if there's some kind of like relationship to be made but <laughs> i don't i don't get the feeling that mary sue um and don our friend material just don't see him and mary sue being friends we moved in to this place so this house is a three-story building and i wanted dawn to live in a house that looked kind of similar to you know to what it was already here so i just decided to i guess renovate one of the existing houses and all i've done is added an extra floor and then we have the top floor and then we have another floor, obviously ground floor. So I like to say that Dawn has moved probably because, oh my God, Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, but I like to say that Dawn has recently moved into a bigger house because he wants him to be able to give his children what they need. And he feels like his other house is just too cramped and he is a father he he technically is a father i mean he might not see his kids regularly but he does want to be there for them and he does want to have the space for them and he and he doesn't want to be cut out from their lives he cares about them no matter what well, i don't think this is anything super special but i want it to be kind of true to what it was you know don already lived in a place like this so i didn't want to go too crazy and move into something that didn't really feel like don would move into you know the big loops so yeah he has two days off he um has work on saturday and sunday actually on friday and saturday and sunday and monday and tuesday but he has two days off and he is spending those two days with his kids and i'm just really excited for him to spend some time together i don't i just i recently gave him okay perfect i gave don a little makeover i wanted him to look just i just want the sims to look all different so i changed his his cheekbones and give him a beard and i don't know i feel like he looks he looks different, but I love it for him. Like, he, he, I, I love it. I love when Sims look all a bit different. They all have the same template and stuff. So, Jessie is very tired. I'm actually going to snuggle her a little before bed. And, oh gosh, don't cry, Jessie. Life is so hard. Don is so proud of his little girl who just, did she learn how to potty train? No, she didn't. But he's so proud of her anyway. So, he's going to give her a little snuggle. And then we're going to put her in bed. And uh, Don feels a little hesitant to giving her, you know, her own room because she's a little young so for now we only have one room which is for uh what's his name again for jordan and jordan is really is really grateful about having his own room because before that he had to share it with dawn they both had to share a um a room together are you not able to put it let me see why this does not work love i i just i just love seeing dawn being a dad i don't know there's something just really cute cute and special about it I just, I don't know what it is. Oh, oh God. Perfect. Aw, that's so cute. So Don has moved, like I said, and he, uh, he's been taking care of his kids and working really hard. And he does want to be a, a professional party guest. I'm not exactly sure what level he is in, so I couldn't tell you how far he is, but I do know that he is close to a promotion. So we're probably going to be promoted soon. And I'm just really excited for Don to, uh, to keep on to keep on growing basically but one of the things that he's finding the hardest to deal with is 
the fact that he is not with his girlfriend. <laughs> Don is gonna try and cook his kids and he'll usually just get some takeout but you know since his kids are here he wants to go all out and uh, do his best to serve them a quality meal so he's gonna try and cook some pasta. He misses Dina a lot but um, she actually is helping him out a little bit. She sometimes gives him some money and it's kind of her way of saying look you have to there's their cardboard in there <laughs> what is their cardboard okay it's it's her way of saying hey i haven't forgotten about you just because i am together i'm married to mortimer it doesn't mean that what we have isn't real and i i want you to trust me i'm doing this for the money not for the love dina is feeling a little insecure about this because uh, she can't be with dawn and she don't she knows dawn is a casanova and though she said that she you know she 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 accepts Don for who he is. It's still kind of funny to see that she's still insecure and still wants to control, you know, him, I guess, in a way, and, and make sure that he doesn't, you know, cheat on her without her knowing it. So it's like she doesn't want him to cheat on her, but at the same time, she does accept it when he does it because that's kind of what she signed up for when she said that she would be committed to him. It's not like Don can't hang out with other women, it's just that he he promised not to do it behind her back. He craves some attention and he can't really call up Dina because of Mortimer. Though, you know, he has some money, like money, money is nice and all that and he appreciates it, but... <laughs> He, he, what he wants goes a little deeper than that, you know what I mean? It, it, it's not enough to satisfy him. For his little plan to work, he's going to have to make sure that Jordan is in bed. I think Jordan might be old enough to uh, understand what's going on. Oh, wait, we didn't buy any lamps. Dawn, <laughs> I love how Dawn for, forgot to put some lights in. Or maybe it was, um, I don't know, maybe he didn't pay his bills on time. The relationship between Don and his children is actually pretty good. I'm really happy that they're they're getting a stronger relationship and I have you guys noticed that he still wants to get married to Dina and he technically is engaged to her. It's just really it's really funny to me that he has this really strong a really strong desire to marry her despite that you know can't commit. I want Don to spend some time with his son and I'm actually gonna come and tell him them teleport upstairs we're gonna save ourselves a little bit of time. I want him to hug him and maybe ask about his day and just kind of chat with him and then once we're done we're gonna invite over we're gonna invite over Nina and like I said he does care for Dina but Dina is with Mortimer and Nina is the only person he currently knows that has no, like, no, no special person, no, no nothing to do. They're just ready and available at all given time. And as well as I think he knows that as soon as Dina is back, you know, he's not going to be able to hang out with her sister very much. Because I think that he would know that the two of them don't really like that there's a rivalry going on and I and I I do believe that he knows very well. Nina would obviously be a bit disappointed in Dawn, but she would also be like, Well it's to be expected. I mean that's what he does. But Dina would be so disappointed in her sister because she knows that her sister can do way better. It's just this 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 battle between Dina and Nina. And I'm pretty sure that she's gonna be super pissed if she uh, she found out. But maybe she will not have to find out. And, you know, maybe she won't find out. You never know. To believe that this is about the same time that Brandy had her birthday party. And uh, Nina basically left the party and went straight over to Dawn's house to, to greet her. Why is Jordan up? Jordan has decided that he wants to take a bath before going to sleep, which is fine. Like, you you, you do you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you feel better about that, go ahead and do it. I don't think... Oh my god, imagine Jordan... Oh my god, okay, he's gonna be... He's going to have to be... He's gonna have to be a little secretive because Jordan is gonna blab to his mother that he saw his father with a red hat and that Dina's gonna be like, a red hat? Girl with little clothes and a lot of hair. <laughs> and then Dina would, he would, he would know. He would, he would, he would freaking know. For some reason, I thought it was Wednesday today. Wait, we don't have time off? All right, I think it's time for Jordan to go and sleep in his bed. He must be sleeping a little a little different. Uh, I mean, after all, he's he's getting used to, you know, being in his father's house and his father. Oh my God, I love this. 
I love it. And I love his little makeover. I wanted him to look like Don has just sporadically decided to give his, his kids a haircut. I'm kind of shaved up the back and I want him, I really want him to look like, I don't know, like, like, like Don had done something to him the nicest way possible. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. If Jesse is innocently coloring and Dawn is making out with, you know, oh my god, making out with someone on the Oh my lord. Okay. Little Jordan is having to entertain herself with the nibbles of the dog. Oh, talking about a dog. Yes, guys, we got a dog. So Jordan actually had a wish to have a pet. And as soon as I saw that, I knew that I wanted to get a dog, but I also know that Cassandra would never want to have a dog because Cassandra's not really a pet person and the cats that we had were Alexander's. And it's then when I decided that Dawn would get a little dog. And thanks for the booty call. I them to have some nice memories of the times that they spent together. Hopefully she won't remember the time that Dawn was behind the couch. <laughs> No, actually, she was she was behind the couch. So I'm gonna hang up some of these pictures, some of these drawings that she's made, cause I really want him to to have these memories. Like I, as a person, I I grew up with a dad until a certain age, and then he wasn't there. And my dad didn't have many many things of like of my childhood when he left I guess that all stayed with my mom so when I actually came in contact with my dad again it said that the most precious things he had even though he could never see us were the little things that we made for him and I like to think that Don is in a similar position he doesn't have many you know he doesn't have much memories um of his children like he doesn't have little I mean I think he's still at the age where he can make those memories but for Jordan he doesn't really have those oh my god he's oh that's why he's broke who knew his memories behind uh, uh I keep saying Alexander it's Cassandra's house and what he did bring was just one teddy bear that um he once bought for the kids so he didn't you know he doesn't he doesn't have much and he wants his house to be filled with little drawings and pictures to remind him of his kids so that even when they're not here because they spend most of their time at their mother's house anyway he can still he can still have them with him in some way and i just think that's really it's really sweet and jordan is used to waking up rather early i think it's because he has to go to school and because of cassandra but his dad is definitely a late sleeper he's used to working at night so for him to be up during the day and then having to sleep at night it, it didn't really work like he he spent all day with the kids and then spent all night awake because it's just his routine and now that it's morning he is lying in and you know the kids are waking up it's it's a bit of a change for don like he works during the night usually so he never sleeps and now he can and it's just like a whole lot so he's going to uh praise his little pupper and i really want him to get a good relationship with the little dog it's technically his dog he gave him the name bello and he's just such a sweet dog it's really just a really a really 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 cute dog so like i said i really want them to bond together and have a good relationship i'm not sure if i should age the dog up in this episode but i have a feeling like jordan is going to be a child for at least 10 more days so i think we could do another part at yes you gosh did you see him just looking at me I oh he's juggling okay <laughs> me doing another part at at the at this house and for him to be still being a child that was really smooth not but you know what I mean so I I think he'll be fine we don't necessarily need to age him up right now uh, I would love for Don to make some money we're like really freaking bro oh he's actually awake oh he's putting his oh he wake he woke up early to put Jesse in the bath you're such a good daddy daddy Don can you guys imagine it. Now, what I actually would like to... Okay, you know what I'm going to do? After... I Okay, I, I'm, I'm thinking about it. But I actually think what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite over Dina. Now, I'm going to invite her over, but I'm not going to tell her why, okay? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to invite her over. But obviously, we're going to tell her why we invited her over. But we're going to invite her over. And I think that he's not going to say, hey, I slept with your sister last night because I was desperate. No, I think what he's going to do is call her up and invite her over and then to say that he's done waiting. Being with Nina last night felt so good and being with these kids felt so great 
that he wants it. He doesn't want to be separated again. They're engaged. He's tired. He's like, oh my god, can you just get the old man's money and run with it? We're going to have Dawn take a bath and, um, you know, go take a pee and take a bath and, you know, take a poop. Do all those things. Scrub your armpits, shave your beard, cut your toenails, you know, do the whole shebang. You haven't seen Dina in a while, so you want to look your best, right? Your man best. I think that he he supports Dina just as Dina supports him. I mean, Dina has a bit of a complicated relationship with her, you know, supportive, <laughs> supporting. Since, you know, it's quite a whole lot to support someone that's kind of like a serial cheater. But, you know, they all have their own, you know, everyone has a flaw and this is her flaw, I guess, or his flaw, the, their combined flaw. However... I think that Don is in a way also really tired of this lifestyle of his. He understands Dina and Dina's desire to get money and she promises him that they can be together as soon as she has his money. But I think that in a way he is just so, he is so fed up. He wants to be with someone, and if it's not living together with someone, he wants someone on the regular. He wants what he had with her before she started getting into, you know, the goth family and this whole scheme, I guess. This whole, you know, big plan, this master plan of, I don't know, world domination and <laughs> rich, richness and richdom and, uh, you know, coming... Oh, Bello, did you buy Dina? That's not nice. Some parent duties. This is, oh my god, this is a big thing for Don. Okay? This is a big thing for Don. Don is just very hungry and Dina is just watching TV. <laughs> I like to imagine that while, oh, Don looks so sad. I like to imagine that while they're sitting there, they're also having like a conversation about something. Um, oh, she turned off the TV. Oh no, she's watching sports. She's like, ah, oh, Don would love me watching sports. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you see those lips? Girl, if you do that... Oh my, oh my god. What is that? It's just, a, it's just, it's just complicated. Like I said, I think that once he came out of the marriage with Cassandra and he went back to living by himself, he started missing having someone around constantly. Just like I said, it's just really confusing because I like to believe that he really wants to have a life with Dina and he likes the idea of her, you know, giving uh, or, or spending or, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, collecting this this big old money from, from Mortimer and you know, using it to build a life with Dawn. And uh, I do believe that Dawn is not the type to to marry. But then he did say yes to Cassandra and he had a really good time. And I never saw him as a father either. And now he wants to be with Dina and he's getting impatient and he just doesn't understand why he's so impatient, why he doesn't, um, you know, why he doesn't want to just do as he normally does. It's like being a parent suddenly just made him a whole nother man. He wants commitment, but he also doesn't want commitment. He's scared of marriage, but he also wants it at the same time. He wants to live with Dina. He's tired of waiting. And these are very selfish emotions in a way, but it's also kind of jealous that, you know, Grandma Dina is in a way uh, taking care of his kids and uh, it's just a really complicated situation but something he needs to look out for is how he interacts with Dina there's a dog behind Bello what you doing bro see I don't think Jessie's going to tell on him whatsoever I don't think she's old enough to understand I think she's just you know too young like I said but Don, if your son Jordan comes back home and sees you with Grandma Dina, then uh, this kind of <laughs> that's that's gonna this that's gonna be awkward, and uh, we're gonna have to be really sneaky here. She's gonna have to leave before he comes back. Just imagine that Jordan sees his grandmother with his father. <laughs> Like, I'm just saying, for a kid, that must be really confusing. Like, really? But, oh my god. I think at this moment, Don would be kind of telling her that he's impatient. And he's wondering, when is she finally going to come and live with him? When are they finally going to get that house that they, they, they've dreamed of? And 
Dina is reassuring him that it won't take long, that she's doing all she can, but that things have become even more complicated, that Bella has returned. And, you know, Don is like, oh, Bella has returned. I don't know. He knows. He, Bella has been around, even at his house. He knows, but he's not going to, you know, he's, he's trying to smooth talk her. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's yeah, exactly. But Dina's reassuring him that it won't take long. You know, Mortimer is an old, an older man and, you know, things are going according to plan. They just, they just have to, they just have to take some time and, and be a little bit more patient. And she wants him so much as well. And, and she would love to do this with him every day. But right now, you know, meeting like this is just really risky. And as she's kind of like whispering into his ear, she's like, hmm, this smells familiar. <laughs> You know, imagine, imagine she's like, is that a red lipstick, the back of your neck? No, I don't, I don't think she would smell at all that. Um, he's been, um, he and, um, what's the word? Okay, let's do a quick woohoo. Oh, shit. Oh, they haven't done one yet? Oh, cutscene. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 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 je <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna have to say goodbye to Dina and hopefully Jordan is not going to find out. So he's going to, oh, don't tell me you're going to do your homework right in front of there. Actually, I don't think he's going to do, he's going to be, oh gosh, this dog has been peeing way too much. I'm actually going to have him clean up and as he is saying goodbye to Dina, I want him to, actually, come here. You need to clean up this dirty diaper, son. Oh my god. He's really, he's always oh, such a helpful kid. Okay, oh my god. Okay, let's see. Is he going to notice that she's, did she walks by? Is he noticing? She's walking. She's no. <laughs> Dina, I told you to get lost, and she's still here. Okay, okay, Dawn, act natural, act natural in your underwear. I think she's. Oh, she's helping out. Oh, she's helping out with the kids, and of course, Jess is gonna let her because you know they're used to. She's used to her. Dawn is just um. I know awkwardly coming downstairs to mop this up, and uh, he's just like, eh, uh, it looks like a, a, a grandma, a, 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 you know, like that. Grandma decided to uh, to, to show up. She um wanted to make sure that you you had everything you needed. Um, but you know, you don't have to tell Grandpa that um she she came over. You know, he's like all of a sudden he's freaking out. Oh my! And I can only stare at one thing. Oh my God! Can you guys see what I'm seeing? Oh, don't even. I think that he wouldn't, he's not ashamed of his relationship, but he's just, for some reason, feeling really awkward around his son, thinking about how kids talk and what if his kid is going to talk and then say to Mortimer that, you know, he saw grandma in her, <laughs> in her bikini or her swimsuit at dad's house and then Mortimer's gonna be like, Dina, what are you doing at Dawn's house? <laughs> like, I don't think she could... Oh my god, it's just it's just gonna be so freaking awkward. Uh, Dawn is actually gonna go to work and I think we're gonna have to get another babysitter which scares me because the last time we did that it didn't end so well but um, actually we have Dina here so maybe Dina can babysit for us um, but I'm not exactly sure. I know I have responsibilities but I can't just leave the children alone. Alright, so I actually think this is the perfect spot to end the episode. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next part. Yeah.